Ciao guys, Terry Food here. So in this video, you're gonna see how to sideload apps on the newly released Oculus Go over here. But first, thank you so much for watching. If you're new from the channel, feel free to check out all the other videos in the channel. And if you like what you see and want to keep being updated about VR and tech in general, just click or tap the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. But let's go back in topic and let's start saying thank you so much to Twinstar and Colin and Itzy uh, to make this possible. I'm gonna leave the link below of the Reddit post so you can follow there too. Also, I'm making this video pretty much to make it even easier because some people are not super good with the ADB software like I wasn't or maybe with the common prompts. So I'm gonna go through that all together in a visual, visual way. But without further ado, let's switch the computer right now to see how to do it. Okay, and here we are on the computer. So first thing first, be aware that you're gonna have to add an Android phone to do all this procedure because I'm gonna need some app to emulate the Gear VR so we can download the apps for Gear VR and then transfer to our computer to then transfer to our Oculus Go. So, what we have to do to start anyway is to go on the Oculus page over here, I'm gonna leave the link below of course, and to turn our Oculus Go in a device uh, for developers. So we're gonna have to become developers, create a new organization, we're gonna click on the link over here and we're gonna have to give a link, a, a name to our organization. So like uh, spaghetti and uh, meatballs, just to be um, very uh, cliche Italian. Anyway, after that, I already created, that's why I'm already logged in, we have to turn our Oculus Go in developer mode. For that, what we have to do is to go on our phone over here, to go on the Oculus app, then to click on Oculus Go, go on the more settings, developer mode and turn it on. If you don't create an organization, you're not gonna be able to do it, so be aware. At this point, we are good to go. Um, already they said to install the Oculus Go uh, ADB driver over here. I didn't, I did directly the one from XDA uh, that they suggest to later. Uh, if you want to try in their way, you can just install the software over here and then go through it. But I didn't do it, it worked without any problem. Then, switching back to our phone, we're gonna need two apps. One is Sideload VR for Gear VR, where you're gonna need, we're gonna find some APK for Gear VR, like softwares and games that developers put there. Um, and for this, we're gonna need a little trick, because if you have a Galaxy S8, S9, or S6, and S7, all like those, uh, you're not gonna have a problem. If you're like me, you have like a, another Android phone, we're gonna have to let the phone thing and the app thing that you're using a Galaxy. And that's super, super easy. That's what uh, Colin and Lizzy like uh, solved on the Reddit post. And we're gonna go on the link over here. They're gonna leave the link below for the little Oculus Sig and uh, underscore. It's a dumb file, so it's nothing, but that app is gonna look for it. So we download it. We click on it, it's a Dropbox thing, so we download it. And then when we have that in the download, let me see, we copy, we copy it and we get then in our phone. So we connect our phone to the PC, we get in the storage, we get in the download folder and then we copy it there. That's it, super, super easy. At that point, we're gonna be able to start sideload VR and download our APK. Also, after downloading our APK and installing, we're gonna need an APK extractor. So these are the link for an APK extractor. We're gonna leave the link below, of course. We install it. We can also do it from the computer if you have Chrome. Uh, you just click on install, you select, you put your password, and then you select the phone where you wanna install it, and that's done. Super, super easy. With that, you're gonna be able to extract the APK from the app that was installed and send it over to your computer. When we are on the phone, we have to select the app that we downloaded through the siloed VR. I downloaded VRidge Gear VR 
that is the one to use like every Steam VR game on like a, even a phone, a cardboard or stuff. It's just an amazing app. Um, if you don't have like a, any other VR headset and you want to try to use that or stuff, uh, because I just want to try and you click on it and you can extract the APK you can also share the APK that's what I did just to be faster and because it's not a big file I shared with Gmail to then receive it on the email over here when on the email you save it and we save it on the desktop just to have it for a second and then we're gonna have to transfer on the ADP so what we have to do right now is of course to install ADB. Over here the XDA developers page where ADB installer, that is a super super easy one. Uh, we go down here and we download the one from Dropbox that is still there. So we click on download, directly download and it's done. At this point we just click on it, let me see. And it's gonna open the installer over here. Do you want to install it and fast boot? And we say yes. Install ADB system wide means for all the user or just for you and I'm gonna do for all the users, so yes. And do you want to install the driver? And yes, we install the driver over here. The pop-up for the driver, ready to use, all done, and that's it. So what we have to do next is to go on ADB where it's installed. For me, it was installed on the C over here, on like C, ADB, and that's it. And in this page over here, we're gonna have to put our APK, so VRH, Gear VR. What we have to do now is to make it a little simple for uh, to read and to write on the comment prompt that we're gonna use in a second. So let's call it just VRH. And here we are. And the next step will be to open the comment prompt. So comment prompt on start. We open like an administrator and we're gonna start with it. So first thing first, we have to connect our Oculus Go to the computer so the comment prompt can see it. And what we have to dry, uh, write is ADB devices. So we're gonna have the list of the devices attached. We are started, so unauthorized. This is not authorized, so what we have to do is to take our Oculus Go and to get in. And we're gonna have over here, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, allow USB debugging, we say always from this computer and we press on OK. And so we are on that. At this point, that is gonna be allowed, so let's try again and we uh, write IMDB devices and as you can see now uh, we can see device over there now we have to go to install the APK so what we have to do is to write CD because over here we have system 32 but we are not in system 32 and we have to put from where is ADB so we click on this part over here copy address as a text and then we press Ctrl V and then we go there and we have ADB. So at this point, we're gonna be able to install the APK. So what we have to do, we have to write ADB, install and V reach the name of our APK dot APK and we press on start. So now the computer is gonna install the APK on our Oculus Go. It's already installed for me, so it's gonna fail. Exactly, failure install already exists and everything so this is installed then what we have to do is just close the comment prompt close here and to switch on our oculus go over here okay so here we are on the oculus go we go on navigate on library and we go on unknown sources over here that's gonna appear because we are in developer mode and then we can go right, 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 or all these things that are for developers, like we don't care until we find our APK. So VRH Gear VR, and we click on it, and for sure it's gonna stop recording, but here we are in a VRH. I hope you're gonna be able to see it, let me see. And that worked perfectly, so we're gonna be able to start to use our side-loaded apps on it.
it. And that was all. If you liked the video and was helpful, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Let me know in the comment below what you think about it. If you need any help, if you have any other suggestion and stuff. And subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech in general. And of course, for the next video about the Oculus Go review that's coming very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I see you guys in the next video. Ciao!